Cirque du Freak. Cirque, Cirque du Freak. Everybody now. Cirque du Freak. Cirque, Cirque du Freak. Uh, Cirque du Freak. Cirque, Cirque du Freak. Everybody now. Cirque du Freak. Cirque, Cirque du Freak. Hey, hey. Hey, uh, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good myself. Thank you for asking. Well, 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 what are we doing today? Well, in honor of Artemis Fowl, I decided to do Cirque du Freak the Vampire's Assistant. Now, the reason why I chose to do Cirque du Freak the Vampire's Assistant is because um, I've never been an Artemis Fowl stan. I'm sorry. It's just I never read the book. Artemis Fowl was never something that I was interested in or something that I read or got into. So, you know, the new adaptation being a complete shit by all accounts I've seen uh, doesn't really bother me in any way. Where I can relate with Artemis Fowl fans now is that back in the day, I had a franchise that I really loved. Back in the day, I was a Cirque du Freak stan. I love Cirque du Freak. I remember loving Loving these books and hearing when they were hearing about a Cirque du Freak movie, I was just like, yes, yes, Cirque du Freak the movie. All right, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be dark. It's going to be scary. It's going to be a little bit funny and blah, blah, blah. Everything the books were. And the movie came out. I went to the movie theater and it was none of those things. That's why today we're watching Cirque du Freak. I've only watched this movie once. I was so disappointed in it. I didn't want to watch it again. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Maybe I was just a critical uh, middle schooler. Maybe I'll end up enjoying it more. Maybe I'll end up uh, liking it more. Maybe I won't be so critical. Critical. Um, we will see. Oh, fuck. What, you got from it? Okay. what was that about? Oh, God, I actually hated that. I remember his friend Steve was kind of a little shit. <laughs> it kind of implied that maybe Steve wasn't the best person for Darren to be hanging out with. Job, family. Oh, I love that. College. Job, family. College, job, family. It's not that hard. Darren, are you listening? <laughs> Actually, like that. That was, that was pretty. That was pretty fun. Okay, like what? Secret best friends. See, here's the problem. I'm already saying. Josh Hutcherson, he's acting like he's a little punk kid, but you can tell that he's not a punk kid. Best, best tiny. Oh yeah, I remember. There was a guy named Mr. Tiny in the books, and he was not tiny. He was rather large. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Because the idea of taking a group of disgusting, weird, deformed people and exploiting them for money, not in our town. What? I'm assuming no one in this class would actually go to this. I don't remember his teacher being a shit hater. Yeah, I remember his teacher not not liking the idea of a freak show, but it was because they were exploiting people. I remember him being like, fuck the poor, the deformed people. Yeah, they're just so weird, blah, blah, blah. Give me a ticket. Wow. Whoa. Holy crap. Ow. Okay, let's see. Let's see the freak show. Ooh, the wolf man. Yeah, the wolf man just looks weird, man. Oh, is he eating her? Oh, yeah. I remember that happened in the books. Oh, God. That's just disgusting looking. She not freaking. Oh. Oh, she was a. um. She was a freak person. A freak show person. Ezra, the snake boy. Ezra, I remember him. Okay, I like the way Ezra looks. He looks like a lizard boy. A lizard boy. Oh, Evra, not a uh, Ezra. Uh, she's growing a beard. A lady, a uh, bearded lady. What? Who are you? What was that? My name is Fred Smith. I'm from out of town. That's such a fake name. <laughs> My name is Fred. Fred Smith. <laughs> the one thing I remember... Oh, what? The one thing I remember is the um, the freak show being feeling a lot more sinister. It felt like really dangerous to be there. And this just feels fun. And I guess they're trying to make it... I guess they're trying to make it for, like, kids. But I don't know. That was Willem Dafoe. He looked very strange. <laughs> what? What is this? Well, Darren's like, he's loving his Spider-Man. I want to F that spider. <laughs> want to bang that spider. Yeah, he wants to bang that spider, man. <laughs> he loves that spider a little too much, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Give us jobs. Freak! They're all just racist. <laughs> oh, 
Vampires. What about the Vampire Council? They must have something to say. Vampire Council? Yeah, but I cannot remember if any of this stuff was explained in the first book. This was all like, um, like fourth book, like fifth book kind of stuff. The Vampanese, they're like vampires, but evil. Like regular vampires aren't evil, but there's these other kind of vampires are called Vampanese. And they're like, yeah, and they're the evil kind. And I remember they had purple skin, which is, which is odd. Oh, Steve's mad. Yeah, see, Josh Hutcherson's just not selling the whole, this whole thing. See, I feel like the guy playing Darren would do a better Steve than Steve is. I feel like if they switched their roles, it'd be better, right? Don't you feel like the guy playing Darren would be a better, um, would be better at being like this little punk kid? And this Josh Hutcherson would be better playing Darren? Do you know how easily I could kill you? I could, <gasps> I could knock you out. <gasps> in front of a bus. And no one would ever know. <gasps> oh, there's Tiny. Oh, uh, yeah, just get in the get in the car with the strange man. Is that guy supposed to be a va vampanese? Their skin wasn't. They weren't white people. That's all I remember. <laughs> they weren't white. That was my. That's what I remember about the vampanese. Now, did he steal the vampire? Oh, uh, the vampire. Did he steal the spider? I remember the books. He stole the spider. Did he steal the spider? Oh. Did I did I miss that part? Was I talking over that part? I don't. Rem I remember. Yeah, in the books he stole the spider, but I didn't. Re I didn't remember him seeing stealing the spider right there. I don't know. Oh, the spider's out. Is, is no one noticing? Oh, okay. I was about to say. I was like, is no one is no one noticing the giant, colorful spider? <laughs> that honestly looks like the spider that bit Spider Man. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get out. Yeah, if I saw a spider that was that animated, that, like, you could tell that it was sentient in that way, I'd feel really bad for her. I don't know. Oh, you see, look. He's, he stepped in gum. This, this is the cutest spider I've ever seen in my life. Oh, we bit him. Running from everybody. So far, this ain't bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible adaption. Oh, and I'll save your stupid friend, Steve, despite the fact that he threatened to kill me. Do we have a deal? That, that, that's it, right? He's gonna be better now? That's it. Hey, he's gonna be all right. I have to leave now. Mm hmm. Like forever? Yep. Forever. I remember that being part of the book. He had to leave his family for good. See, this, him leaving his family would be so much more impactful if we actually had scenes with his family. The only scene that we got with him and his family was them yelling at him. This scene is so... Are they gonna kiss? That's what... It seemed like they were about to kiss. Yeah, they had that kind of music. Man, I would have loved that they would kiss. Actually, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> He's like 15 years old, I guess. <laughs> that would have been weird if they would have kissed. But yeah, it seemed like they were about to... It, Never mind. Oh, there's Tiny. Yeah, if I saw that guy at my son or daughter's uh, funeral, I'd be like, who are you and why are you wearing those glasses at my son's funeral? Those are not appropriate for the occasion, sir. <laughs> so far, I'm not hating this. Maybe I was just an over, uh, over critical 13 year old, which that is very likely. <laughs> Whoa! Bro, bro, I'm gonna get you. No, I'm gonna get you. No, I'm gonna get you first. Oh, here's a punch for you. Oh, a bone. Wait, why would it be a bone? Yeah, why do, shouldn't the bone be inside the gray, <laughs> inside the coffin, not just hanging out there? Come on. So all the freaks live here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's so frustrating when, um,. When they add scenes, like, when there's a book, and they add m scenes that weren't in the book, and then they take away scenes that were in the book to add a scene that was in the book. I hate, I freaking hate that, man. What the heck is Steve doing? Uh, don't make me do it! Oh, he was gonna do it. Hey, there's Mr. Tiny. Those glasses. Did he, uh, was he best friends with, uh, Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> See, I don't remember Tiny being, um, I could be wrong. It's, it's been a while since I read these books. So anything I'm saying about the 30 Freak books could be 
totally wrong, like, because I haven't read them in a while. But I don't remember Tiny being so uh, involved in everything. I remember him being um, kind of like standing in the background, kind of. He did control everything. He was like a like a puppet master, kind of, of what's going on. I don't remember him directly inter- interacting with the characters. And then uh, Krebsley left like a list of stuff for you to do for him. Looks like you're Krebsley's bitch now. Deborah. What? I mean, he kind of is. Oh. Don't want to clean that cage. Yeah, that looks horrific. That does not look. The CG in his movie is not excellent, man. The the makeup's pretty cool. I like uh, Evra. Uh, he misses Steve. <laughs> I couldn't tell who that was. Can't call Steve. You're a half vampire now, fool. What are you doing, man? Uh, Steve would have that. <laughs> he would have that um oh, voicemail yeah, thing. I don't know what <laughs> was it called. What if you were alone in the dark and someone wanted to kill you, rip out your heart and drink its blood? Hmm. What then? I guess I'll just die. I don't know. <laughs> fight! 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 Or are these the vampires? Yeah, they're not purple. I remember then described as being purple. Oh, you see his hair? That's how you know he's uh he's badass. His hair is so spite. See, Josh Josh Hudson is just not selling this bad boy thing. You have to drink blood, Darren, or you'll die. It's as simple as that. Drink blood? Die. Drink blood? Die. Drink blood? Die. <laughs> oh snap. Here comes the Vampanese. <laughs> this whole war between the Vampanese and the vampires doesn't actually, it doesn't take into effect until way later on. I just remember just being like, well, the first two acts of this movie are basically the first book and the second book, which the first book and the second book are kind of redundant. So I can see the first book and the second book being turned into two movies. You know, that makes sense to me. But this is all stuff that happens like way later on in the series. Josh Hutcherson coming out here. Oh, he has purple eyes. He doesn't have uh, purple skin, but he does have purple eyes. So I guess that makes up for it. <laughs> no matter how hard he tries, he's not coming off as menacing. Like, at all? He's not menacing to me, I'm sorry. <sighs> this is all very... This is all very, like, who cares, really. Yeah. God, just all the effects they're using for this fight and everything. It's just... It's not cool, man. It's just... I just don't care. I just don't care, really. Darren's scoring Super Saiyan? Oh, snap. Yeah, I don't like the whole running thing. Oh, no! Mr. Tiny likes it. He's like, yes, yes. That's how Mr. Tiny is. It's not time for you to fight. Not yet. That doesn't happen to the sixth book. <laughs> oh, it's all written down in a book. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, is he getting off? Dude, it's like people right there, man. That is just insane looking. Ah. Uh, Oh, look, he has purple skin. He has purple skin. Purple. Purple skin. Purple skin. Not a purple shirt. Not purple eyes. Yeah, I want purple skin. At what point did this movie get... It's when all the Vampanese people start showing up, right? Like at the... Like, before then, it wasn't that bad. The finale was terrible, though. They just took they took elements from like books like way way in the future and just put it right here. The first two acts of, of this movie weren't terrible. They were actually enjoyable. I was actually having a really fun time. Maybe it's been a while since I read the book, so maybe you know the the tone is a little you know. I remember the tone from the books being a lot more creepier. It was a lot more horror based. Uh, I don't know. I didn't hate. I didn't hate the first two acts. I didn't hate it, but. All the other stuff that happened, all the Steve becoming evil, coming back, the fi- the big fight at the at the ending, the romance between him and the monkey girl. I just I didn't care about any of that shit, man. And I can remember wh- I can remember why I was so upset whenever I watched this the first time. Not for long, I'm afraid. Are they gonna set? This is my question. Are they gonna set up a sequel? 
Because we know for a fact that never happened. Oh, totally forgot about Willem. <laughs> he looks, he looks insane. He looks crazy, man. Oh, they're setting up a sequel. They're setting up a sequel. Oh, this is so funny. This it never happened. But that's an illusion. Speakers, tasty. Was that ADR? Did he see his? Did he see his lips move? His lips did not move at all, right? Hello, Noe here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the commentary highlight for Cirque du Freak. Ooh, spooky. Uh, I had so much fun uh, recording this, editing this. Uh, the whole process was just, it was just a really fun video to make. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the full commentary, um, full commentaries in the link below. Uh, check that out. It's on my second channel called Know Your Mirrors the Sequel. And yeah, um, any likes, and sus subscriptions, anything like that is appreciated. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful week, a wonderful whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye.